Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a quick um, printout, either a orthographic or isometric drawing of something you might have drawn in Inventor, and then be able to print it out with a regular printer. So Inventor comes kind of out of the box, ready to print on c size paper, which is poster size paper. And if you have a regular you know, printer at home, you can't use that. That doesn't work. And printing right from the regular screen isn't going to work either because, well, you can, but it doesn't look very good. And it's it's you know, not an isometric or orthographic in the proper way anyway. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go to New and choose um, ansi.idw, Create. And the part that I'm going to use is going to fit right on regular a size paper. Actually, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. All right, so let's change the paper size first. So I'm going to go to Sheet 1. I'm going to right click and choose Edit Sheet and change my sheet size to A and choose OK. All right, so now my um, title block is way too big. So I'm going to point to my title block, left click on it, right click, and choose Delete. I can also delete the border if I want to. I kind of like the border, so I'm going to leave it on. And now I'm going to go to Base up here, left click, and find whatever it is that I want to print. So I'm going to search through here. I'm going to print this model. Now, this uh, menu is kind of in my way. So I'm going to point to the title bar, left click, and drag it out of my view. And you can see that um, here's the front. Um, I'm going to choose the front, the side, and the top. So I think there are three nice views. And I'll also choose this isometric right there. So I clicked three times, and now if I keep clicking, it'll keep placing views, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to right click and choose Create. So it figures it all out. And now these, as a orthographic, are in line with one another, and the isometric is kind of a little off. Line that up a little bit better. And from there, I could just print it out. So that's already much better. If I'd like, I can add further information. I can annotate it. Uh, I can add uh, dimensions. Dimensions are really quick and easy to add, uh, just like everywhere else in Inventor. So if I click on dimension, I can click on surfaces. And the computer seems to be having a bit of a problem right now. Strange. OK. <laughs> I'm going to uncheck Edit Dimension when created so that this doesn't keep popping up. There we go. But as you can see, I can uh, I can annotate this with no real trouble. I can put um, notes in there. Change the size of this. If you make a note like this and then change the size of it, the size won't be updated in the the printout. What you have to do is first highlight it and then change the size. So. There's my note. Um, right click and check OK. Now I can move my note around. Um, but if I edit this by right clicking on it and editing the text, for example, here's what I was talking about. If I change the size to really small, it doesn't change the size. I have to edit it, highlight it, and then change the size. And then it'll, it'll be different. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, this is, you know, maybe not a professional sort of a, a drawing, but it's definitely good for, for making a quick copy and getting your ideas across or just saving a reference of it. So from here, we can easily print in a regular printer, and I'll have a nice uh, drawing. So there you go.